Hi, my name is Peter Amos. I'm with Essex Yacht Sales, and I work with Leslie Quarrier, who many of you will know. In a recent video, I presented a beautiful GB42 Europa from the year 2000. Today, fast forward 10 years, this is a GB41 Europa 2010. Those 10 years saw a lot of evolution and product development. This boat may be one foot shorter, but Grand Banks added almost two feet in beam. They also took the then latest technology innovation pod drives, and they pushed the engines and the pods way back under the cockpit. That gave great maneuverability, improved fuel consumption, improved top speed, the famous skyhook feature for automatic station keeping. But there was an added bonus, which we'll see later on. Under the salon, there's a huge utility room, a very unexpected addition to this boat. This boat has all the classic Europa features, the high rails, the high safe bulwarks, and of course, the covered uh, extensions, which give shade to the salon that extends over the cockpit and is a very welcome feature on a hot sunny day. This boat is one of the most meticulously presented boats that we've ever had the pleasure to list. She's been beautifully kept. She's very authentic, but the current owner has done a beautiful upgrade with a full Raymarine, fully networked navigation system. We'll see more of that later on. So we present today Dragonfly GB41 Europa 2010. I'm standing here on the aft cockpit of the GB41 Europa. This is a wonderful place to sit, to have cocktails or to relax with friends and family. We have a full covering here. Beneath me is a beautiful teak deck, which is in wonderful condition. One of the features of these 41 Europas is a very comfortable, easy staircase to go up to the flybridge. No ladders on this boat. This is a good staircase. It even has a sliding hatch to close the opening in case of inclement weather. There are three boarding gates on this boat, one here on the transom and one either side in case you are boarding from a finger dog. As we go forward, we pass the starboard boarding gate here. This opens with the standard Grand Banks step plate. Very nice feature. <clears throat> this boat has massive hardware. Nothing's flimsy on this boat. Everything's oversized and super strong. We go forward to the spacious foredeck. There's a very nice seat up forward. Probably the best seat in the house, I'd say. It's a great place to sit and catch a few rays, or maybe just wait for the captain to align the boat when you're picking up a mooring. But it's a great place to sit. Forward, we have a beautiful sp spotlight, uh, twin rollers for the anchors, for the main anchor and for a lunch hook. There are remote controls, of course, to run the uh, windlass, as well as controls from the upper and lower helm stations. I think everyone will appreciate this nice feature so the line can easily be brought through without threading through. Very convenient and again massively overbuilt. The hull of this boat is the original 2010 gel coat in perfect condition. These boats were built solid from the waterline down. There's no core in this boat, no foam. So this boat is super strong and resistant to any water getting into the hull. Well, I'd like to welcome you to the flybridge of this uh, GB41 Europa. The flybridge, of course, is where we all want to be. This is a terrific space, very comfortably laid out with a beautiful bench seat here, an L-shaped -sa seat here with a beautiful varnished teak table. Forward, we have two bentless captain seats, beautifully upholstered. The main seat is in the center position, which is very convenient, with the Raymarine 
multi-screen chart plotter, nav and radar. We have extraordinary visibility up here. It's a wonderful place for navigation, a wonderful place for all-round visibility, avoiding lobster pots and navigating through crowded waters. As we pan around, we find on the spacious aft deck, there's a dinghy. Dinghy comes complete with four-stroke outboard motor and a steelhead marine davit, which is powered. This is an extremely convenient way to launch the dinghy and swing her into the water. We also have a hospitality and entertainment center next to the mast, which can be fitted with different types of features such as grills, sinks, refrigerators. At the moment, it's empty, waiting for the next owner. This boat has a bridge clearance of about 20 feet, but the mast is hinged, and by removing several bolts can be lowered down to reduce the clearance considerably if you're contemplating the Great Loop. We now enter the main salon, this GB41 Europa. There's a broad sweep. It's very expansive. It's very bright. Very large windows all around. These are tinted and they're bonded into place. No problems with window frames on this boat. Around we have silk curtains that are fully lined and they draw all the way along. We have a textiline shade for the windshield. So you have complete privacy at night. What we like about this boat, there's no hanging locker here, it's wide open. So here we have the typical Grand Banks table, beautifully crafted and inlaid with matching woods. It opens up to form a very gracious dining table. Or let's face it, in these days of COVID, you could set your laptop here and have a home office in a beautiful environment. On the starboard side, we have this large bench seat but the bottom pulls out and it forms a double berth. And in fact, with the extra beam on this boat, even when this is pulled out, there's a very convenient space to walk between this and the table. As we go forward, we have the U-shaped galley. It's galley up formation so that the, whoever's cooking today is part of the family and we're all together in the salon. There's a very nice serving area here very nice three burner electric cooktop. This whole boat's electric. We have a 11.5 kilowatt generator which will run all the systems on the boat. Beneath this we have a combination convection microwave oven, a refrigerator. And maybe one of you is saying, well, what about the freezer? Well, the freezer's in the utility room and we'll get to that in a minute. But there's some very nice storage features on this boat, which I'd like to show you. As this is something that home designers could take note of. This pulls out, and then it moves across. But wait, there's more. This pulls out again. So we have extraordinary storage for dry goods, food, etc. Very, very conveniently located. A very nice feature of Grand Banks. Grand Banks is masterful at maximizing storage capacity. We have further storage here. A beautiful little cabinet here pulls out next to the refrigerator. The refrigerator has been updated to an isotherm refrigerator, which is very, very nice. Another feature of this boat is the sink, part locker, and up here, a beautiful place for your silverware. This is actually lined with a velvet type material. So our recommendation is only sterling silver be used here, no stainless steel. We also have a separate faucet for drinking water, which is filtered. To starboard, we have your Grand Banks drawer for glasses. And I'd like to point out the original Grand Banks glasses come with this boat. This is the glass drawer. Back here we have bottle storage. Below we have the ice maker. 
Very convenient for serving cocktails. And under here, we have your dinnerware. Also, Grand Banks. So everything in this boat is authentic and original and unspoiled. She has a double helm seat, a very large helm door, convenient if you're single-handing the boat. And while we're talking about single-handing, we should mention that with the pod drive, of course, comes the famous skyhook feature, which allows you to hold station in any position you like, regardless of current or wind. The helm station is clean and simple. We have a single integrated Raymarine plotter, radar, and GPS. We have a single integrated Cummins engine control panel. Gone are all the analog gauges. And then we have the Eplex system. This screen shows the flow of electrical power through the boat. But presently, we're connected to shore power and the generator is not running. The next screen here shows the lighting situation, shows which lights are on or off. One feature I like especially is the all lights off feature. So regardless of individual light switches, when you leave the boat, you just touch that and the boat goes dark. Very, very convenient. This screen shows the air conditioning, which systems are running and which systems are not running. This boat has tropical grade air conditioning. We actually have 50,000 BTUs of air conditioning available on the boat with uh, two 16,000 BTU handlers just from the main salon and the rest for the two uh, rooms below. So that's very, very convenient and he helps to keep the boat heated or cooled in whatever season you're running the boat. So we find this a very convenient arrangement. This shows the bilge pumps, the fresh water pumps, and the condition of the tanks. All the tanks can be, uh, the fresh water tank and the fuel tanks actually down in the utility room with sight glasses so that it's very easy to monitor them visually as well as through the electronic system. And of course, this is the famous joystick control here, which enables us to move the boat sideways, forwards, aft, or to rotate the boat about her axis. Very, very convenient for docking. So a beautifully integrated helm station, uh, a masterpiece in simplicity, convenience, and ergonomics. There's a full-size Island Queen forward. It has twin reading lights, fully dimmable overhead lights, two ports, an overhead, large overhead hatch, two hanging lockers with electric lighting, ample storage beneath the berth, and private access into the head and shower. The head and shower actually has two doors, a private door from the master, and then a second door as a day head. The head and shower is very spacious, has ample ventilation, and has a separate enclosed shower, which boasts a teak seat. Very, very convenient. There are sliding mirrors above the vanity, which opens up to a port for light and air, and also additional storage space. Forward and on the port side are the guest twin berths. This is a very convenient cabin. It has its own heating and air conditioning control for perfect temperatures. It has a built-in uh, closet with internal lighting and two reading lights. There's a filler piece available which goes between the twin and makes a full-size queen. Very, very comfortable accommodations for your guests. I'm standing here in the utility room, which is beneath the cabin sole of the salon. There's a very convenient uh, staircase that comes down here, which I folded away, uh, that folds out of sight under the deck. Here we have a Splendid washer-dryer. This is a combo unit. It's almost brand new. This is a fully vented unit, so it's a very efficient unit, very convenient to have on a boat for long-distance cruising. This side we have a large chest freezer, very spacious, for long-term storage of frozen food. 
This is fully finished all the way around with formica laminate and nice teak edging. We've got ample storage area around shelving and we even have a very large space forward and to starboard with probably about a cubic yard of space which would be very good for storage. Also either side we have the main fuel tanks with side glasses very convenient to double check how much fuel you've got before you set out and forward we have the water tank also with the side glass. So all in all this is a huge addition to the GP41 product line and gives owners who want to do long-term cruising or the Great Loop a really useful additional space. It really adds a great deal to this boat. We're now in the engine room of this beautiful GB41 Europa and we're leaving the best to last. This is the most meticulously kept engine room we've ever seen. She boasts twin Cummins QSB 5.9 litre turbo diesels. These are each rated at 425 horsepower. They've done 1,575 hours service. They've had their 1,000 hour service, including the heat exchangers. These are 24 valve common rail diesels with electronic fuel management. What that means in practical terms is very little or no smoke, even at startup, very low noise, very low emissions, and high efficiency. But possibly the best feature of these engines is the small footprint and the narrowness of the engines. That means it's very easy to move around outboard of the engines for servicing and cleaning. Also in the engine compartment is the Cummins Onan generator. This is 11.5 kilowatts with just 795 hours on her. She has a quiet exhaust with a gas water separator, so you don't get that burbling noise, which can be annoying at a mooring. The other feature, of course, in this engine room are the twin pods. These are the well-known Zeus pods with aft-facing, counter-rotating stainless steel propellers. This boat boasts an extensive keel, which actually extends beyond the bottom of the Zeus drive propellers, thus protecting the drives in case you run aground. The Zeus drives are interesting. They have three separate oil compartments, which sounds complicated, but in fact is a huge benefit. At the top, the hydraulics for vectoring the Zeus drives runs on conventional power steering fluid. The gearbox for forward and aft uses regular gearbox fluid and at the bottom there's heavyweight gear oil for the heavy gears. Why is that a benefit? Well, should one part of the drive get contaminated, it doesn't affect the whole system. The other two parts are separated. The Zeus drives are incredibly convenient for use, enabling joystick docking, enabling very good cruising and top speed performance. This boat maxes out at 23 knots and will cruise comfortably at 14 to 16 knots. They need only annual service when the boats hauled for winter. Apart from that, they run themselves. We thank you for watching this video today. We've enjoyed showing you this beautiful Grand Banks 41 Europa. We love this boat. She's really an evolved, fast trawler, topping out at 24 knots, but with a very comfortable, very economical cruise at displacement speeds. We love the extraordinary space on this boat with her 15 foot 8 inch beam, her utility room below the salon, and the wonderful, terrific flybridge. We love the engines, of course, and the Zeus drives, which give her maneuverability, great fuel consumption, and excellent top speed. And of course, best of all, this boat has had meticulous ownership over the years. So she's a really a poster child of how to look after a beautiful boat. So please stop by and see us at our website, EssexYachtSales.com, or give us a call, 860-388-8701. We'd love to get you aboard this beautiful 
Grand Banks Europa 41. Her name is Dragonfly. Thank you for watching.